What's up guys, Kevin Wagstaff here. Before we get into mobile app self-care, I wanna give you a quick note to let you know that I'll be making a video every day for the next 30 days as part of a self 30 day challenge that I'm imposing on myself. We always practice what we preach and we're always telling you guys to put out more content. So I thought it'd be a cool way to kind of kickstart myself and get my momentum going by putting out helpful videos for you guys once a day for the next 30 days. So if you don't like them or they don't apply to you, just ignore them, don't subscribe, because I'll be really sad if you unsubscribe. But just to let you know, these will be helpful videos, so you'll be seeing a lot of me in the next 30 days. And I encourage you to take up a new habit in terms of something with your business, whether it's creating content, reaching out to agents, give yourself a 30 day challenge. It's something I'm just trying um, you know, for personal development and also for you. So um, let me know what you think about these and uh, we'll get right to it. All right, today we're talking about mobile app self-care. I call it this because I look at it as kind of the self-care that you do for yourself, like brushing your teeth, combing your hair, taking a shower. These are all things we need to also do for our technology. The technology just doesn't work on its own without any maintenance or care. So the Spectora app in your phone is no exception. So everything starts with the mobile app. So I wanna go through some, some self-care tips and best practices to keep Spectora running the best on your phone and cause you less headaches and it's just good all around. So let's dive into it. I'm gonna go through an article that we wrote on this, but I'm gonna talk you through some of the main things that I want you guys to be doing pretty much every day and every week to make sure your app's performing at its best. The thing I wanna address is memory or RAM, RAM, that your mobile device has. Think of this as the amount of data your device can handle at one time. So many of our crashes and slowness can be attributed to a lack of memory. So do these couple things and you'll be well on your way. The first is to make sure you have a quality device with at least four gigs of RAM. So that's four GB of RAM. Most iPhones, Androids that are on the higher end tend to have four, six, or eight. If you get a budget device, there's a good chance it has one or two gigs of RAM and it's working memory is gonna choke up and slow down quite a bit. So make sure you invest in a quality device, especially if you're doing one, two, three inspections a day and this is your job and this is something you want to invest in for the long term, it makes sense to invest in a quality device up front. You'll be glad you did. Next thing to do is to make sure to not have a ton of apps running while you're using Spectora in the field. Sometimes apps can also be running in the background. So make sure you're actually swiping out of apps to close them out as opposed to just not using them. An easy one that most of you don't do is power down your device every day or every couple of days. This is like a fresh restart. Think of it as restarting your computer. So if you don't restart your computer, after a while, it's gonna start lagging, it's gonna have a lot of memory build up. So make sure to power down your device every couple of days at the bare minimum. Next, every day or two, you wanna reset the app memory within Spectora in settings. So you'll go into settings and click on the red reset app memory. But remember, you have to save any inspections that you have in progress first, then you can reset app memory. Because what that's gonna do, is gonna wipe the device of the inspections that are in progress but if you've saved it, you can always pull it down from the cloud. So you're fine as long as you've saved any inspections in progress. Clear that out memory every couple days uh, for the best help. The next big thing you can do is go into your templates in your Spectora account and delete any unused templates. A lot of you um, get shared templates from other inspectors or download ones from the gallery. Just delete them if you're not using them. That'll help your app have to process less templates and move efficiently. Related to app memory, if you keep a bunch of inspections on the Spectora app, make sure to reset app memory to clear those out because if you have dozens of inspections in the device, it slow it down or can slow it down. Um, we'll remind you, I believe, when you get to 15 or 20 inspections to reset that app memory every so often. Photo gallery size. So a lot of you have tens or even maybe hundreds of thousands of photos in your photo gallery. Make sure to delete those every so often, back them up to the cloud. I know a lot of inspectors will just delete them the day after they publish the inspection because they're saved in the report. So the report's gonna be on our servers, backed up three different times, three different places. So you can delete those photos from your gallery and also delete the actual photo albums of each inspection. If you back up your photos to your device, we create a folder with the address of the inspection. Make sure to go in and delete those every so often because those can eat up a lot of space and kind of cause some lag. So make sure to keep a clean and lean photo gallery and albums in your phone for best performance. 
One final thing is to switch to on-demand saving frequency in your mobile app settings. If you do want to save every so often, that will result in a, in a less of a upload time at the end of your inspection. But if you want max performance, um, just going through your report and then saving on demand, either in increments throughout your inspection, whether it's every 30 minutes or every hour, hitting save or all at the end if you have good connection. Um, that's typically how you're going to get the best performance. I know some prefer um, to save every 15 minutes or 30 minutes with the auto save feature. Um, so you're welcome to do either. A lot of inspectors um, that I talk to just do on demand and work out just fine. So um, keep that in mind as something to, to weigh the pros and cons of. A couple other settings to just be mindful of and check on your device is location settings. Um, some apps can always be pinging and tracking your location, which can slow down your phone's memory usage which can slow down your phone and eat up a lot of memory and then background apps refresh. So each phone should have a, a setting for how often apps refresh in the background. So if you do have other apps running, your phone might be trying to refresh and get data for those all the time. So make sure that, that setting is off while you're doing inspections at least, because then um, that, that gives your phone's whole capacity to go towards doing the inspection, processing photos and saving data, not running 10 other apps in the background. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Um, please take these recommendations to heart. It's the way the app and Inspector can work best for you. And we're constantly making improvements on our end, but we definitely want you um, to be using the best mobile self-care tips and advice to make the app run smooth for you so we can keep you running efficiently and uh, growing your business. Thanks, guys.